know that you can spy on other people with a simple mobile app? Hey everyone, I'm Frederick, and welcome back to another episode of Cinedis Cybersecurity News. These apps are called spyware, and for less than 100 bucks, they allow anyone to gain illegal access to a range of personal data, from the victim's location and SMS to social messages and live feeds from the device camera or microphone. That's pretty scary. Imagine you're in the bathroom and they can hear everything you do, or in the bedroom. Hmm. Their installation is usually very simple and anyone can be a victim or a victimizer. Which side are you on? I hope neither. So this makes this kind of malware one of the most dangerous forms of hacking, as it even enables domestic abuse. The use of those apps generates controversy since it could be a temptation for the boss to spy on their employees, I wouldn't do that, or for a jealous spouse to monitor the significant other, I wouldn't do that either. So it is not a coincidence that they are also known as stalkerware and spouseware. And of course, women are the main victims. Stalkerware has been exposed and publicly criticized multiple times, yet in most countries, their status is still vague. These apps should not be confused with legal parental control and find my phone type of apps. They are distributed through dedicated landing pages and have functionality that allows them to invade the victim's privacy without their consent and without their knowledge. Hiding it from the applications menu while the app continues to run in the background and some functions performing surveillance tasks, such as recording the victim's voice. These apps are more dangerous than they look. The damage they cause to their victims is serious, and it is precisely what people like Eva Galkori try out to eradicate. She is the director of cybersecurity at the Electronic Frontier Foundation and a technical advisor for the Freedom of the Press Foundation. In a recent interview with Wired magazine, she explained how she ends up eradicating spyware. She was quickly able to observe the scale of the problem and the impact she could have with the response to just one tweet that she published offering to help the victims of sexual violence who had also been threatened with hacking. Sexual violence and hacking? What a bad cocktail. Thousands of victims, more than 10,000 responded desperately requesting help. Over 10,000! Incredible. So she's working on three fronts to solve this. A. The antivirus industry should take threats posed by digital stalkers seriously. According to her, there have been years of negligence. B. Apple should take measures to protect iPhone users from stalkerware. And finally C. She calls on state and federal officials to use their prosecution powers to indict executives of stockware selling companies on hacking charges. Quote, I'd like to see this to be the industry standard. And she's totally right. At Cinedis, we do salute her efforts. Keep going, Emma. Thanks to her fight, Gabriel achieved that Kaspersky, the Russian security firm, made a significant change to how its antivirus software treats stockware on Android phones, where it's more common on iPhone. Rather than just flag those spy apps with an alert that reads not a virus, which is really confusing to users because it's an alert, but then it says it's not a virus, so what is it? So now the message will be much clearer and it will show a privacy alert so that you know what it was going on. Just last year, Casper Spiel had detected stockware on over 58,000 cell phones, which is just a portion of the total number of people who have been targeted with stockware, given that their app, their antivirus app, is only selling a fraction of Android devices. So the total number is likely to be much higher. And these are real victims in a real, offline, non-digital world as well as online. I believe we must all collaborate to work towards a digital space free of harassment and violence of any kind, respecting the privacy of each individual as a fundamental I invite you to be alert and you can read our cybersecurity blog to know more about spyware and other related topics and more importantly learn how to defend yourself from them. Meanwhile remember be safe online and offline and we'll see you soon.